Good evening. Good evening, sir. My name is Harnek Singh. What's your name? My name is Arushi. Right. Can I see your identification, please? Yes, sir. Here it is. Uh, is this your full name? Yes, sir. Where are you from? I am from Kurukshetra. Okay, here you go. Okay, in this first part of your speaking, I am going to ask you some questions related to you and your life. Let's start with your education. So, can you please tell me about your educational qualification? Well, I have recently completed my bachelor's in tourism management, and uh, I have done my secondary education in commerce stream. And for future, I would be continuing my tourism stream. All right. And why you wish to do so? Um, well, I'm very much fond of traveling to distant places, so that is the only reason why I prefer tourism. Okay. Uh, let's speak on hobbies now. Tell me about your hobbies. Well, I'm not having so much hobbies, but uh, for instance, I can say I love to do sketching, cartoon sketching, and other than that, I love listening to music. All right. Um, how hobbies are useful for us? In my perception, I would say hobbies are very beneficial for a person to get engaged in some activities in their le leisure time mm -hmm. and uh, to get some creative aspects out of your personality. Okay. So what kind of hobbies people have in your area? I'm not sure about it, but I would say there are some different hobbies uh, people have in different age groups. Older people like to have uh, some reading habits uh, somebody who is my age would love to travel to different places and getting listen to some music. Other than that, some, if we talk about uh, children, then they love to play. So do you travel often? I try to, but I don't get that much opportunities because of the busy, busy schedule. Mm. So I do travel whenever I have the opportunity. Where did you travel recently? Recently I have traveled to... Delhi, that was the most recent destination that I traveled to, that too, last weekend. Okay. Fine. Now let's talk about study. How was your school life? It was a very fun, fun experience for me. Learning, but only fun, I would say. Because till, ten, till my 10th standard, it was not very pleasurable. But in my secondary education, in plus 1 and plus 2 standard, it was quite learning. Okay. Uh, which was your favorite subject in your school time and why? I did not have any particular favorite subject, but uh, I liked the physical education that was the most interesting because at that, in that particular subject we had the opportunity to go out in the grounds and play whatever we had to. Is that still useful for you? Uh, it is actually. It, it has become a very important part of my life whenever I have time and I'm not lazy that time then I definitely go out in the grounds and play okay so now you have to speak on a cue card topic and the topic you have to speak on is describe a time when you and a friend disagreed about something here's your cue card topic and there are some hints given here to help you you have a minute to prepare on this topic please don't write anything on this booklet here is the paper and pencil for you to make a plan if you wish. Your one minute starts now. Are you ready to start? Yes, sir. Alright, so now you can speak on this topic and you have to speak over this topic for one to two minutes. I'll tell you when your time is up. You may begin now. Okay. So this cue card topic reminds me of a time when uh, I had a very deep discussion with my friend whose name is Ritudev and uh, the discussion was totally based upon choosing a destination for our college trip. Uh, the, uh, the discussion was totally about uh, 
we deciding a destination and having a chaos between Manali and Masuri. I being a little bit adventurous than him, I chose Masuri and Alozi, but uh, him he wanted to go go for Manali. The reason we d uh, got into this argument and uh, disagree disagreement is because of the people not being able to gather around and uh, come up with some ideas. So that was the reason why we had to come up with we we were on this verge of disagreement. So uh, as of a result of this disagreement, we did not uh, go to any of the trip and we were not. We were shattered and uh, our feeling and everything was uh, a disaster and uh, and ended up and this whole, whole idea ended up as a disaster and we could not go to any of the places either it was Manali or it was Masuri. Uh, uh, although I wanted to go to Masuri and for camping and uh, trekking also but because of the missed arguments and uh, the chaos made through this disagreement we were we did not reach anywhere so that's all all right so did you ever uh, go to this place again after that and no, still i don't have much time with me so i have not been to that place okay that's fine that's all for your cap topic can i have this booklet back yes, okay, thank you all right. So we discussed now uh, about a time when you and your friend were disagreed about something. I would like to ask you some more questions related to uh, disagreement whenever people are not agreeing with each other for something or other. What are the things that children often disagree with other children about? Well, it's not very particular about children disagreeing with other children. But I would say it's mostly regarding to the game which they want to play. Um, other than that, nothing is coming up to my mind. Hmm. Okay. Why some people find it hard to tell others that they disagree with them? Um, I believe it is because they don't want to hurt their sentiments. Or they just want this particular pace of their relation to be on a very soothing level. So that is the only reason. Alright. Uh, so in what ways uh, children learn to get along with others? I'm not quite sure. But I would say if parents would teach their children about getting along with one another, sharing things with the other person, whether it's known or not, uh, how they can be taught about politeness and good manners, that is the basic need. So, other than parents, uh, do you think anyone else can help children to learn about it? Well, it's the responsibility of everyone surrounding that particular child. So, it comes to the responsibility of the society as well. Mm -hmm. So, everyone has to play a role in getting children, all the youth of the country, to be very polite and getting along with one another. Why is it important to be polite? It's very important, in my perception it's very important because it shows how humble you are and how calmly you can handle the situation and that you have a respect for the other person, whoever it is. What was the case in past, say, 10 years ago, how children used to learn the values like politeness? Well, it was taught by their parents because if I would say my parents, uh, they are very kind, generous and uh, very polite person so it has been taught by their parents and the surroundings and with this era of modernization people are getting much more social but they are uh, leaving this part of uh, getting to know one another and have that emotion with one another so in your place how people handle a situation when uh, someone disagrees with their opinion well most of the time the argument ends up in a fight <laughs> but uh, sometimes if a person is uh, well sufficient they just end it right there and don't get any grudges from that All right so what is the importance of international business of being sensitive to other cultures well it invites a lot of cultures to your particular country 
as we can say in our country as well our prime minister narendra modi he is inviting a lot of countries he is visiting a lot of countries and uh, getting a lot of business this this improves the economy and gets the growth and the gdp of the country very well all right whether different cultures understand each other better now than they did in the past well they do they do better understand each other nowadays because of the socialization people the world is getting a little small uh, and you can find anything with a click and you can get in touch with anybody with a click so that is why it's very easy all right that's all for your speaking thank you thank you